these are the colours that I'm going to be using for this quilt and this quilt is going to be look different with the different fabrics that you are going to use and I highly recommend that you use a plain coloured fabric, something that doesn't have a pattern on it. And I'm just going to make sure that I have about one and a half metres of each of the colours. The prominent colour is going to be this kind of like beigey colour and you'll see what I mean as I start building it. I have cut a load of two inch sections. You can use a jelly roll um, if you want. So they are generally cut at two and a half inches. I want to make this at two inches. It can be however wide you want. The principle is going to be the same. And I am obviously going to need a lot more of this colour because I'm going to be using these in between each of these different colours that I have here. This is what we're going to start with, a two inch square, and we're going to build off this two inch square. So if you want to do it based on a two and a half, you would use a two and a half inch square or three inch or four inch, and you would build off that. So whatever you are making your square as, like two and a half inches, you would have to cut all of your strips to match this square. So if you do three inches, you would have to do three inch strips, etc, etc. In between each of the prominent colours, I'm going to use this high contrast. So if you don't want to use a beige, you want to use some sort of high contrast colour that's in between all of these colours here. So what I've done now is cut two two inch squares and I'm going to sew both of them on one at the top, one at the bottom, doesn't matter, one at the side or one at the other side and we're going to sew them on like that. So it really doesn't matter, there's no right side or wrong side but if you do have a right side of this pattern you'd be facing both right sides together like so and you will clip on this end and you will sew a quarter of an inch seam all the way down here. I will be attaching my quarter of an inch foot with guide to my sewing machine. I have some white bobbin thread and I'm going to wind some of that on right now so I'm not stopping and starting when I start making my quilt. Take this to the sewing machine and sew this into place. Then you're going to open and then you're going to press and generally you want to press to the darker side of the fabric because if you press over to this side here it's too light and the black is going to show through on the back so always press over to this side here then we're going to get this other section here right sides together like we just did i'm not going to pin because it's just too small of an area and i'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch right along here I went back over to my iron and I pressed these seams to the darker sides. Now it's always a good idea to press as you go. It just helps make the block look nicer as you are sewing it. Now for the next part we are going to attach this here. I'm going to cut the selvage part here and the selvage part is where it's been on the loom. You'll see the little dots, you just want to cut them away and start on a nice clean side. And we are going to attach this to this side. We're going to do one to the other side. But I'm not going to cut it to size. I'm going to save a little bit of time. I'm going to keep my strip to the length of whatever it is. And I'm just going to sew this all the way down. And I'll show you how we cut this off in a second. So this is what the strip looks like right now. I'm going to go over to my rotary cutter. And I'm just going to cut this off here where my big long strip is. I like to do quilts this way, I don't really like to work from patterns, I just like to do my quilts the quickest way possible and this is fast and efficient. I opened up my section, I pressed to the darker side and then we're going to attach the other piece to the other side and we're going to attach it like here and we're going to do it right sides together and we're going to do the same thing we're just going to keep this long strip long and we're going to cut it off after the fact like we did with the other side i'm going to get my rotary cutter and i'm just going to cut this piece off i'm going to press it and then i'm going to come back and show you this is what the unit looks like so far now we're going to build off this so i am going to get 
my mustard colour and I am going to put it against one of these seams. So the only thing that you need to remember when you're building this quilt block is you want to do this side and then the opposite side or if you did the top you need to do the top and then you need to do the bottom and then you would build out the other two sides. So whichever side that you choose to put your fabric on you have to do the opposite side first. As long as you remember that, that's all you have to do for the rest of this quilt. I'm going to take this to the top and I'm going to attach it. You probably will eventually need pins because this is going to get turned into a really long section over time. So I'm going to attach this. And then I'll attach the other side and I'll show you what it lo looks like when I've done all of the mustard part. This is what the block looks like so far. So now I'm going to use this contrasting colour again in between the mustard and this plain colour. So we're going to put these in between. And again I'm going to start at the top and work at the bottom and do the sides. This is where I recommend that you pin and if you're going to pin make sure that your pins are coming out from the right hand side because as you put this into your sewing machine you're going to want to reach out to the right hand side in order to pull your pins out. Never write over your pins it's never a good idea because they might break or snap and they could shoot out into your eye. So always make sure that you take them out and have the pin so you can pull it out from the right hand side. This is what the unit looks like so far. I am now going to take a brown section and attach a brown section exactly like I was doing before and I'll show you what it looks like after that and eventually our strips will become too long and we will need to attach two strips together and I'll show you that when we come to it. I have now joined a brown section. It looks kind of black here but it is brown and then I'm going to place another of this beige section at the side. So even though I have some very dark colours to this, having this kind of like beige colour is breaking that up and making it look like a very modern quilt. So bear that in mind when you're selecting your fabrics. And now I'm going to go in and use this black strip. This is a very neutral quilt colour and it's a very neutral design. Anybody is going to love this once it's made and it can be as big or as small as you would like. I make videos every single week so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay with me because we still need to know how to join these two sections up once it gets bigger. I started with a black square so I'm going to start circling through the colours again. So here's my black colour so the next colour I'm going to be doing is the mustard then the brown and then the black again and I'm just going to circle through each colour as we go until I get my desired size. At some point you're going to have to join two sections together and this is how you do it. You can have one section going across and you're going to have another section going down like so and then you are going to sew a diagonal line all the way across because once that is stitched in place and you fold it back it's going to create this nice sewn together piece and this is the correct way of joining these two sections together so I'm going to go ahead and sew this in place you can have this diagonal line of stitching and we're just going to cut away obviously not too close to the stitches and then you fold this back like so and then you can go ahead and start to sew this piece onto your next piece. In next week's video I'm going to show you how to do the backing and the binding. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss my next video. Bye guys!